we're reading today is the fairy tale heroes of the princess and the pea. Written by Abby Longstaff and Lauren Beard. Piggy Wiggy was the best hairdresser in the land. This summer, her salon was very popular. The queen was hosting a food festival to, to find her sort of princess, and everyone wanted a special foodie hairstyle. So this is Kitty's salon, Mrs. Whoopie's shop, and Mermaid's Aquatic Pets, Dr. T's Fairy Crowning Glory Dentistry, Alice's Tea Room, and Dr. Charming Surgery. Snow White choose to celebrate her food favorite fruit apples. Red Riding Hood asks for girls like strawberries, and Gingerbread Man wanted this ice cream quiff shake like a banana. Really, gingerbread man? That night there was a terrible storm. Through the pouring rain, Kitty heard the doorbell ring. On steps with the girl. And Penelope said to the girl, Come in, cried Kitty. You can stay here till the storm passes. Penelope was a chef. She told Kitty about her friends traveling the world, cooking all kinds of food. Next morning, Prince Peter came to the salon to have his hair done. He looked very worried. The palace chef is ill, he told Kitty. He can cook for the festival. We don't know what to do. Mom is so upset. She invited the princesses from all over the land to meet me. What do everyone eat? I know someone who can help, said Kitty. And she introduced Finn Peter to Penelope. I love to cook for the festival, Penelope cried. Oh, thank you, said the prince. They all went to the palace together. Peter showed Kitty and Penelope his garden full of vegetables. There was a huge pumpkin, a little nut with a silver nutmeg, and a golden pear. And the turnip so enormous, it took Peter, Kitty, and Penelope to pull it out of the ground. Peter and Penelope chatted nonstop about food and recipes and table settings. Kitty left her friends gazing to each other's eyes and headed for the royal powder room where the queen wanted to help her send in the visit to the princesses. To Kitty's surprise, was a standing she was setting up a little strangely the queen was very excited. When Peter was born, the fairies came in and pea. She said, It's a secret test of playing the right girl. She showed Kitty the instructions. The instructions. How to find the perfect person for Prince Peter. Step one. You need... Prince Peter's magic pea and lots of lots of cushions. Step two. Place the cushions on a chair and place the pea under the cushions. Step three. The person must sit on the chair. Feels com comfortable. Do not the right person. Person feels uncomfortable. Comfortable. You find the right person. Congratulations. I just know the right girl will be a princess, said the queen. But Kitty wasn't so sure. Meanwhile, the witch was hatching an evil plan. I want to evil marry the prince, she cried. And she waved her wand. As instant, she transformed to a beautiful princess. 
The witch joined it, the two of girls waiting to have their hair done. In the royal powder room, Kitty saw princess after princess. Uncomfortable, dear, asked the queen every time a new princess sat on the cushions. Oh, yes, thank you, Rumble replied. The queen looked more and more disappointed. Did you all work all day long? So did Penelope. By the end of the day, there's only one princess left to style. Oh, Kitty, said the queen. None of the princesses have noticed a pee. It's the last princess. She has to be the right girl. The final princess sat down on the chair and decided. Ah, sighed Daisy. These cushions are so lovely and soft. The queen burst into tears. Then you can't marry the prince either. What? cried the princess. She was furious. You didn't pass the pass, the queen explained. You didn't feel the pee under the cushion. The princess was so angry. The before Kitty's eyes, she transformed to a witch. The witch snatched the pee under the cushion. If I can marry the prince, she cackled, then no one can. Kitty looked around. What should she do? Suddenly, she had an idea. So she had an idea. Kitty gave the styling chair a hard spin. Round and round went the witch until she was steady. Guards, called the queen, seize her! The witch was marched up to there. Oh, what should he do? cried the queen. And if the princess was right. There's one person you haven't tried yet, replied Kitty. You put the pee back under the cushion. Just then, Prince Peter came to the royal powder room. Penelope was exhausted. She slumped herself to the ceiling chair. Ow! she cried. She jumped off again. That cushion is really lumpy. The queen gasped. If Penelope's the right girl for my son, she declared. I did not need a test to know that. Peter said, looking to Penelope's eyes. Penelope smiled and took his hand. Let's go to the festival together, she said. Kitty helped Peter and Penelope tried to on the outfits for the festival. Look at all of these outfits. Mm -hmm. What costumes there? Um, there's a cupcake, pizza, and sushi, hamburger, pineapple, those big roast beef, eggs and bacon, French fish chips, ice cream, or I don't know, ice cream. And spaghetti. Soon I found something just right. And the happy couple danced all night in the moonlight. So these are the food centers selling Muffin Man, Marvelous Muffins, Tree Bears Honey, Saint. Clemens, Clemens, Clemens lemonade and Humpty Dumpty biggest omelet. Before long, they were married. After a wonderful wedding, Prince Peter and Prince Pe Princess Penelope showed Kitty their honeymoon. Plans to travel around the world. So, this is Fairyland that they live Cookie Island, Banana Beach, Candy Plus Forest.
Hajin Temple, Spaghetti Junction, Jelly and Custard Castle, Ice Cream Village, the, and it says the Land of Food on here, and then Pesto Palace, Bucky Bucky, and Forget Ice Cream Village. Wait. And who can eat the cry as they wave goodbye to their friend? Katie Lee's is the best hairdresser in all the land. I hope you enjoyed the story, the Fanta hairdresser and the princess and the pea. I hope you enjoy. Bye.